With nearly 10,000 baby boomers stepping into retirement daily, the call of the open road and new adventure can be loud and clear. And the number of folks enjoying the explorer lifestyle just keeps on growing. Starting 15 years ago, I was hearing about how boomers were going to you know, come into the marketplace in the RV uh, market and buy a ton of RVs and have a major expansion in the uh, RV business, and it is true. Brett Paris, owner of Paris RV in Murray, has seen the increase firsthand and says taking to the road is very appealing to the over 50 crowd. They're a healthy group of people. They're adventurous, uh, you know, got some money to spend, disposable income, and an RV is a great way to go uh, out and see the world. Suzanne and Roger Radcliffe have been serious full-timers, as they call them in RVing circles, for many years. They've logged a lot of time seeking out new adventures and new places to explore. They're currently living in Park City and have parked their home on wheels for now, but they already have a lifetime of memories from their journeys. Over the last 12 months, we've been from Maine to Key West, to uh, Alaska, and now we're back in Park City because we're going to stop full-time RVing and live where we can ski more and enjoy beautiful Utah. One of the main draws is the comfort and conveniences available with modern RVs. Older RVs were a bit less glamorous 75 years ago when they first started to become mainstream. A smooth way to rough it. One million Americans today are living in homes on wheels. The number of RVers is now close to 10 million, mostly because roadway wanderers can enjoy the nomadic experience, yet still enjoy as many comforts of home as they please. The convenience is home, though. I mean, you still have everything there, plus you're out in nature. My wife, as sweet as she is, and she is really sweet, said that she would prefer not to sleep on the ground in a tent. You have a wife that wants to still, you know, have the facilities. The RV crowd is like a club, one big happy family, and that appeals to these daily grind escapees. It's kind of like an extended family with family you haven't even met yet. You meet the best people out having lots of fun and seeing this gorgeous country.